When you first start streaming and your chat is quiet, you might be thinking to yourself, I don't need auto moderation or I don't need a loyalty point system. Well, you are dead wrong. This is the perfect time to be setting all of that up and it can do wonders to increase your engagements and your overall chat. If you don't want to be a small streamer forever, then it's time to stop acting like one. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Streamlabs Cloud Bot to handle auto moderation and increase your chat engagements so that when your viewers arrive in droves, it's all good to go. Hello, my name is LJ from streamscheme.com, also a variety streamer over at twitch.tv slash LJM underscore. Links to both of those in the description. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to set up Streamlabs CloudBot. Now this is gonna be a basic overlook to get yourself set up with auto moderation and how to set up all your loyalty tokens and all the fun stuff to keep chat engaged and give them some stuff to do. But my favorite tip of the entire day is going to be in the timers and command sections at the end of the video. So make sure you watch through so you can get those set up. I know for a fact, but the tip when it comes to using the timers will increase your followers and your engagements because it's worked for me. And there are time codes in the description, so if you wanna jump ahead to a certain part, you can go ahead and do that. First things first, why do I use Streamlabs CloudBot when there are so many other bots? Well, when it came down to it, I looked at a lot of different options when I first started streaming. And Streamlabs CloudBot had the best user interface, it was easiest to set up, and overall, it was already built into Streamlabs OBS. It was incredibly intuitive. I didn't have any issues at all. It came with fun games for my chat to play. It came with auto moderation that was incredibly easy to customize, way easier than Twitch's chat moderation that they've got built in. But the main reason that I use Streamlabs CloudBot is because after having a little look through and a little five minute video, I was completely on top of how to use it. And I really believe that anyone can use Streamlabs CloudBot to do some amazing stuff in their stream. So as I said, I'm gonna walk you through setting it up, the basics, timers, commands, all the fun stuff like loyalty tokens, gambling heists, and it'll be a pretty solid video for you to get started with. So let's get into it. So obviously the first thing you're gonna to need to do is actually set up and link the Streamlabs CloudBot. No worries, it's very easy. You can either do it in the Streamlabs OBS app or you can go to the dashboard and do it here. Now I'm gonna be doing it on the dashboard because I think it's faster and easier, but the fact that it's built in is pretty amazing. You're gonna head over to your dashboard, click on CloudBot, and just hit this little switch here to have it turned on. Next step, all you have to do is head over to your Twitch channel and type slash mod space Streamlabs. This will set up the bot that Streamlabs CloudBot runs through as a moderator. And congratulations, your Streamlabs CloudBot is now set up and running. There's just a few things you're gonna to have to customize first. Once you have your bot activated, you can dive into the fun stuff, but first I wanna cover all the moderation tools because these are where Streamlabs CloudBot really shines to control your chat. When you're small, you don't have a bunch of mods who can help out, and sometimes you can't stop doing what you're doing to delete a message. Streamlabs CloudBot moderation tools are easy to customize and very thorough, so you can make sure that you're safe from any trolls who come into your chat. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click mod tools and start setting up your auto moderation. You'll see all these options here. Now I won't go through every single step, but I'm gonna give you a brief overview of how it works and I'll do a full video soon on every specific section of CloudBot. So the main moderation tools I use are link, symbol, word, paragraph, and emote protection. Symbol, word, paragraph, and emote are all set up to avoid spam like ASCII art or large copy paste. But link protection is set so that my mods and myself can write exclamation mark permit at a username in the chat and it will give that user 60 seconds of permission to post a link. This is great for if they want to share a clip that is on my channel that's just been done or if they want to share something that relates to the stream in some way. The major one you'll want to turn on is word protection. This mod tool will remove offensive or derogatory words and you can see the settings if you click preferences. Auto permit will allow you to allow people who are subscribers, regulars or both to post without being caught but let's be real, if you're trying to catch slurs and derogatory comments, you don't exactly want anyone to be able to say it. You can turn on the default blacklist and this will capture the majority of the offensive words, but you can also do it custom, which I'll show you in a second. What you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on the punishment message and you can customize it as you see fit. But here's the part where you can get custom. Now I'm not gonna click it here, but if you wanna click blacklist, you can add words and phrases to the list of words and set custom punishments for certain words. I have banned set up for all racial slurs, anything like that. The different types of punishment are purge, timeout, and ban. A purge, aka wiping all their messages, a timeout, which is selected you can change the length of, or a straight ban. I'd recommend just going through, reading through the preferences and hovering over the question marks to get an understanding, but it's all pretty straightforward and simple. If you want me to cover all the different settings I use for moderation, I will do a full video just on moderation with Streamlabs CloudBot, but let me know in the comments for that. Speaking of a little call to action for you to comment. I wanna throw it out there. If this video helps you out at all, consider checking out my other content. I've got all sorts of videos on how to use Streamlabs OBS, how to grow on Twitch, the best games to stream, how to use Discord servers, all of it. So check that out and if it helps you, consider subscribing. 
Now, once all that's out of the way, you can get into the fun stuff. Now, these are the heists and gambles. These are the modules. These help keep chat engaged and active. So when anyone joins, they go, wow, this is a really hyped up, this is a really active chat. I'm gonna let you play with these as you see fit, but I will give you a quick rundown of what everything does. First, you need to know what loyalty tokens are. Loyalty tokens are a currency which you can set the name of in your loyalty tab. In this tab, you can also see how many are earned when people do different things such as talk, follow, raid, etc. Loyalty tokens really make people want to be in chat because obviously they have to be in chat to earn the points. It'll also track how many hours people have been in chat the most for this session before you reset your tokens. If you set up a reward for most points at the end of a month or for the most hours in chat, then it'll also engage people to stay around a lot longer. For example, mine is set that whoever has the most points in chat at the end of the month will get a gift sub to the channel and whoever has the most hours in chat will get a huge slew of loyalty tokens to start out the next month with and get them closer to getting that gift sub that I just mentioned. These tokens can be traded with each other, gambled, and there's all sorts of stuff that I'm not gonna list today because we'll be here for hours if I do, but they're a fantastic tool. So I would recommend turning them on and customizing them for your stream. I wanna mention three modules that I think everyone should start with in this. The first is heist. Heists are a great way for your chat to come together. It's simple, all you have to do is turn on the module for heist. And then when you type exclamation mark heist and a number of loyalty tokens or the word all, it'll start a heist. Now everyone in chat can write it together, exclamation mark heist, and it'll have a little story attached to it as if you, all of the people who joined in are trying to heist a bunch of loyalty tokens off of something. Now I've had a few custom stories and I change it every few months, whether it's a, a runaway train or people breaking into a vault that I own. People just like the engagement and they love having a bit of fun with it. To start though, you can leave it as default. It is still great, so just give it a go. Two other modules are slots and gamble. They're essentially the same thing, but in different ways. Gamble is it just rolls a dice for you, one to 100, and the person can put tokens up to bet. If they get over 50 or whatever you set it to be custom, they win and double their tokens. The other is slots, much harder to win, but if they do, they win big. It's the same as, you know, the pokies or whatever the things are. They're just a fun little way of people writing in chat. The final module that I really like is the eight ball module. We all know what an eight ball is. You ask a question to it and it'll come back with an answer. It's just a fun way for chat to make jokes and, and have a little play with it. I don't let you guys explore these modules and have a go, but if you have any comments, chuck them down below and I will help you out. If you wanna know my settings for any of this stuff, happy to pass them along, just let me know. Let's get into the commands and don't forget we have the timer function coming up soon as well, which is the best way that I've found to get follows. Now onto commands, I'm sure you've seen all sorts of commands out there on Twitch. For Streamlabs, it is exclamation mark, the word you're using to trigger the command and anything else you need. For example, exclamation mark heist and the number, that is a command. It's just one of the default ones installed with CloudBot. Commands are different to timers. Timers will go off at a certain interval with certain rules, but a command is triggered manually and you can set a cooldown for it so people can't just use them back to back. Next to the modules tab, if you click commands, you have a few options here. You're gonna see all my commands on screen, just ignore these. So you can click default next to the custom tab and it will show a lot of template commands. You can turn on and off or edit these as you see fit. Or if you wanna add a custom command, go back to your commands, click add command, and there are more templates here such as lurk, uptime, follow age, and etc. Now I would recommend turning on lurk, uptime, and follow age because these are just very common commands and most people expect them to be in chat. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to set up a follow age command. This is used so people can see how long they've been following you. It is a bit of a crown or a bit of a badge. I know my chat love to see who's been around longest. So click on that template, click exclamation mark follow age, and it will fill out the command and the response itself. Now, if you wanna set up a custom one in this exact same slot, all you have to do is write exclamation mark socials. And for example, the response can be your social links. Very simple, very easy. Now the next step though is crucial. Check your reply rules. You need to decide if you want the bot to whisper the person or reply in chat. Next is permissions, who can use this command, for example, whether it be mods or anyone or just subscribers. Finally, the advanced features. This means how often people can use it or how many loyalty tokens it's gonna cost to use. For now, let's set the cooldowns. The global cooldown is the cooldown of how often it can be used by anyone. And the user is how long it can be used by the same person. For example, if the global is 30 seconds and the user is 60 seconds, then if chatter A uses the command, they can't for another 60 seconds, but chatter B can use it again after only 30 seconds. If you wanna know what an alias is, these are other exclamation mark commands that can trigger the same response. So exclamation mark social might be your command, but an alias could be exclamation mark Twitter and it will send the same response. Have a play with commands. If you have any questions, as I said, comment down below. Happy to run through extra detail down there. Finally, onto timers. Now, timers are incredibly powerful and I really recommend getting these set up. Not too many of them because it can get very spammy, but a good example of a timer is the call to action follow timer. Now, I have mine manually set up so that 
after a certain amount of time and a certain amount of messages, they will say in chat, hey, if you're enjoying the stream, why not consider following? Every time this goes off, I always notice that I get one or two followers or sometimes even like four or five followers who have just been lurking. It is incredibly powerful. To set these, go to timers, click add a timer, name it something, for example, follow bot, then type what you want it to say in chat in the response section. The interval is the time between when it will send in minutes, so it could be 15 to 30 minute intervals, and the line minimum is very important. This is how many other messages need to have been said in chat since the last time the bot sent it. So if you set this to be 30 minutes, but only five messages get sent since the last bot message, it won't send it again until you get another five messages. This just avoids your chat being literally just a bot saying the same thing over and over and over again. So for mine, I have mine set to every 30 minutes to send it as long as 10 messages have been said in chat. Pretty much it'll always go off every 30 minutes because in my chat we are quite active with heists and all sorts of stuff that I've shown you today. I also have a timer to tell people about certain commands that's built into the same one I just talked about. For example, I have an exclamation mark question of the day command so people get asked a question and it keeps chat active. There are so many ways you can use timers, commands, all these different modules to get chat active. So have a play with it. Let me know if you want me to deep dive into anything else because these are very powerful when it comes to getting followers. And with all that out of the way, you are now a Streamlabs CloudBot expert. Congratulations. I look forward to dropping by your chat and seeing all the heists going off or all the other things. As I said, comment down below if you need anything. Check us out on Twitter if you have any questions as well, or check me out when I'm live and I'll see you guys for next week's video. See ya.